Welcome back. I wasn't going to make a video for this week because I thought I didn't have enough content that would be interesting. But in this video, I get to sit in the cockpit. And for me, that's a pretty exciting stage to be up to in the construction of this yacht. So in this video, I cover off construction of the panels, the fitment of the panels, and just what it's going to feel like to have this cockpit completed, which is pretty close. It's Saturday. And I got everything ready for the next four panels. And what do you know? Well, I've run out of hardener. So I picked some up today that I had on order in town. And it's the fast hardener, which really doesn't work even at this time of the year for me in New Zealand. Um, it's great for small jobs, but it's not going to work for this job. I'd have to be working way too fast. Probably could get away with it, but... There's going to be some bigger projects and I really do need the slow hardener. So, unfortunately, I've got to wait till Monday before I can exchange this hardener. So I've been tidying up instead, putting away all the trailer parts that I bought yesterday in Auckland and got a really good deal on, I'm very happy to say. So what I've got going on here, the um, cockpit seats, they have to be just glassed on the other side. Got two layers on here. This is the um, cockpit ends, this gets sliced through on an angle like that, got a glass the other side of that. This mini bulkhead, which forms two purposes, it divides off underneath the cockpit and makes a watertight area to add to the overall um, flotation of the boat if it gets flooded. And um, like little chain plates, there's a um, bracket that goes here, a stainless steel U-shaped piece that um, goes through the cockpit floor and it gets attached through these um, four eight millimeter holes here. So that's got to be glassed in. The cockpit sole itself, the cockpit floor, I joined. That's one of the few joins that I've got to do out of all the sheets I bought, which is really good. There's a join down the middle here. Which I didn't make yesterday. I just joined it with some um, epoxy, of course, with some fairing filler in it. And so I've got to cut a hole in this today for the hatch, and I'll have to bore some holes and fill them for the screws, some bushes for that. I've also got to locate carefully where the chain plate will go for the main sheet, will go through the cockpit floor, and I've got to bush those areas. So, there's a bit to do. What I've also got on is loading this third three roll of it's close to 100 meters, um, 400 gram double bias. I really didn't think I'd be using this much fiberglass. I'm not saying that from a sign, you know, from a calculation point of view. Well, I did calculate, and initially I thought I could use one roll for the whole boat. <laughs> this is my third roll, so. I hadn't been shy about putting some strength into the boat where I think it needed it. Um, but these weigh a bit over 50 kgs, I think it is, um, each. So they're not insignificant in the whole contribution to the um, weight of the boat.
nicely. I'm finally getting the um, knack of how to make them turn out really well, just with pill ply. And part of the secret is really saturate the foam first. When I first started a lot of the glassing, I was probably not quite using enough resin, as I've mentioned before. But getting that full saturation into the foam before you put the fabric on, because um, it absorbs probably 50% more on the first layer of epoxy into this type of foam. So um, getting enough resin on, putting the fabric on and really wetting it out. Don't starve the fabric. <laughs> Don't overwork it. Glassing, the gluing in of these panels, these seats went very well yesterday evening. Um, I wasn't going to sit on them or put any weight on them because this is only glued on edge here into the foam, so it's not that strong yet. I haven't glassed the corners, coped and glassed the corners on the inside or the outside, of course. But I couldn't wait to see how this felt. This is the first experience I have of sitting in this cockpit and it's very very comfortable so far <laughs> um, I designed it so you can put your feet up there when you're sailing and you've not used too much energy to sit in the sit in position um, when you're steering there's an issue that you've probably spotted already you can't see forward from this position as you can in a lot of boats, but I, I knew that when I designed the boat. The, um, if you're steering, really the position should be here, then you get a clear view forward and everywhere. Um, I'm very happy with how it feels. It's a dinky boat. Um, this is the smallest yacht I've owned in a very long time. But this just feels so good, the comfort of this position. I put this bulkhead to go in here, of course. And that'll be um, in Polonia once again, one of the few remaining Polonia jobs, because visually from the inside, I want to see the grain and not um, this beautiful Burut PET foam panel. So. 
I've got a few missions in town to do today, but um, hopefully I'll get to glue the ends on the um, cockpit seats here. And I'll get at least um, two layers of glass on the cockpit sole on one side. There's very little to, left to do inside here, but I'll probably um, give it a couple of layers of small pieces of cloth um, where those bolts go through the transom there because I've bushed them and um, then I might sand it out a bit and um, put a coat of resin in there before I put the cockpit sole in. Very happy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.